we are going to expose three motivational myths and we're starting right now. What's up man? I'm Andres P and this is Be A Man TV where I give you the power not only to become a competent man but a confident man. Money is the number one motivation for everyone. Now sure, money is certainly important. I can't get gas without money. I can't go on vacation without money. Maybe I could find some food to eat, but money sure makes it a lot easier. But have you ever had a job where money was pretty good? And at first you're very excited about it. Then as time goes on, you struggle in the mornings. And you know, you don't really want to get up. You don't really want to go to work. When you're there, you kind of have an attitude like, I'm going to do my job, but they're not going to get anything extra out of me. You know, I've certainly been there. And surveys show that employees rank things such as respect, recognition for hard work, advancement opportunities, and even comfortable and stress-free environment higher on their list for motivation than money. So what I'm trying to say is money is a great way to attract new employees, but it's not the best way to keep them motivated. Motivation myth number two, just visualize success. Now this technique goes along with the laws of attraction. You have to put out into the universe what you want in order for it to come back to you. They're also going to tell you that if you don't even believe that it's possible, then how can it possibly come true? So in order for you to believe that's possible, you have to visualize and see yourself succeed. You gotta imagine yourself in the future. What are you wearing? Where do you live? What are you driving? And if you do that, you will be successful. Now, I absolutely agree that you need to believe it's possible in order for you to take action on something. Now that is congruent with the theory of expectancy of motivation. And I also believe that an optimist is more likely to succeed than a pessimist. The only thing is, are you aware that there are two kinds of optimists? One is a realistic optimist. Now that one does believe not only it's possible, but that they will succeed with effort, persistence, and careful planning because they know that they will have obstacles to overcome. Now on the other hand, we have the unrealistic optimist where they believe success will come to them as long as they do a lot and a lot of visualizing. They can taste it, they can taste that success so they know no matter what they do, it's gonna happen. So the question is, which one are you? There's nothing like fear to get you motivated. Now I've heard stories where someone was scared of losing their job, scared that they would not have a place to live, maybe even scared for their own life. You know, their mind starts working a lot faster or they just jump higher or they just find this strength that came out of nowhere, they push through it and, and they succeed. You know, I've been in situations like that and yeah, fear will give you a rush of adrenaline and it'll give, you know, you'll find strength that you never had before, absolutely. But you can't run on fear for a long time. It's not the best motivator out there. You can't have your employees being scared all the time. When it comes to fear as a motivator, it's short term. You can't expect your employees to be continuously giving you the best results if they're always scared. You know, you might tell them, you do the best that you can do, you meet these metrics, or you're fired. Yeah, they're going to try. They're going to try their best, absolutely. But the moment that they get the opportunity to leave you, they will. All that time, all that training, all that money, knowledge that you gave them, they're going to take it somewhere else. They're going to take it to a place where they're appreciated. 
where they get recognized for their hard work. So what do you think? Do you agree with the points I made or do you disagree? Put in the comments below. Also, let me know if I missed any myths out there about motivation. And don't forget to earn your man card by subscribing to Be A Man TV. Until next time, stay manly my friend.